Andre Clement Mallet, June 11, 1910 to September 22, 1973, was a second-class passenger on the Titanic. He was traveling with his father, Albert Dennis Pierre Mallet, and his mother, Antonine Marie Mallet, and a friend of his father's, Emile Philippe Richard. He survived the sinking of the Titanic. Andre Mallet was born on the 11th of June 1910 in Montreal, Canada. His parents were Albert Dennis Pierre Mallet, born the 6th of August 1866, a merchant, and Antonine Marie Mallet, born the 16th of December 1887. He had no siblings. Both of his parents were natives of France who married in 1909. Andre's father was 21 years older than his mother. In early 1912, the family of three left Montreal for France for a vacation and for André to visit his relatives for the first time. In France, they stayed with his father's mother at 6 Rue Cornille, which was possibly in Fontenay-la-Fleury, France. By April of 1912, they were planning on returning to Canada. The Mallets bought tickets for the ship France, but sold them when they heard the Titanic was going to stop in France. They went to Cherbourg to board the ship. Once in Cherbourg, they bought ticket number 2079 for 37 pounds. They boarded on the evening of the 10th of April with his father's friend Emile Richard. The family would have stayed in a second-class cabin on either D, E, F deck. While on the ship, they would have had meals in the second-class dining room, walks on the second-class promenade, and enjoyed the amenities. However, Due to only being one year old, he would have stayed with his mother or father throughout the voyage. Of course, until the night of the 14th of April. On the night of the sinking, they were most likely asleep in their bunk. His parents may have woken when the Titanic hit the iceberg, depending on how deep in the ship they were. It is also possible that they were woken up when a steward knocked on their cabin door telling them about the situation or if they heard voices in the halls. Either way, Andre probably did not wake up due to his young age. The family made it up to the boat deck at some point before 1.40 am and to 9 and Andre were put into lifeboat 10 and it was lowered at 1.45. Lifeboat 10 was the 14th lifeboat to be lowered from the Titanic. His father did not follow them into the boat, men were not permitted to get into lifeboats on the port side of the ship. Lifeboat 10 and its occupants were rescued by the Carpathia at dawn on the 15th of April. Andre's father, Albert, and his father's friend, Emile, did not survive the sinking. Their bodies were not recovered. The survivors of the sinking made it to New York on the 18th of April. Once in New York, Andre and his mother were admitted to St. Vincent's Hospital in New York. They were treated for shock exposure and any other injuries they may have sustained during the disaster. While they were in the hospital, a photograph was taken of them and other French-speaking passengers who survived. These other passengers were Mathilde Francoise Weiss, Bertha Learman, Juliette Marie Louise Laroche, Simone Marie and André Laroche and Louise Laroche. Once they were discharged from the hospital, they went back to their house in Montreal. The two of them were given $4,000 worth of life insurance for his father's death. Once they made it to Montreal, they sold their house and packed up their belongings, Antonine decided that they were going to move to Paris, France, where she was born. They took another ship back to France and eventually made it to Paris. It is not known if his mother got a job once they made it to Paris. When André was old enough, he attended school. In 1918, when he was seven or eight years old, his mother remarried to Leonivas Rodomanowski. He was possibly a Polish man because the last name Rodomanowski has Polish roots. It is unknown how old he was at the time and what he did for work. Just like his mother, much of what he did in his later life is unknown. However, it is known that he continued to live in Paris for his whole life and never got married or had any children. Eventually, he would have gotten a job, but it is not known what that may have been. At the time of the Titanic's 50th anniversary he was 51 years old. 
Andre Clement Mallet died on the 22nd of September 1973 because of either heart failure or disease. He died in Paris, France. Andre is buried in communal cemetery in Conchisy en Ouch, France. He was only 63 years old. His mother died a year later on the 22nd of October 1974, also in Paris, at the age of 86. She died of natural causes. It is not known when his stepfather, Leon Ivers, died. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies like this, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.